Welcome to F12 MGD News Updates. Greetings and peace, dear people of God. At last, the anti-hopping law was passed unanimously. Some were unhappy. The 11 absentees had excuses, but many were happy. No more certain moves, no more backdoor governments, no to political frocks. Pope Francis embarked on a penitential pilgrimage to Canada. He faced the indigenous peoples, sought their forgiveness, and prayed for healing at Lake St. Anne, referred to as the Lake of God by the Nakota Sioux Indians on the 26th of July, 2022. So, so, sowing time. Quick! I want it now. I want to see it happening. Why so slow? These are the sentiments of the impatient, the unrealistic, and the unreasonable. Let's learn from the sower. When he sows, he considers the seed, the ground, the planting, and the fruiting. Everything begins with the seed. The seed requires the right ground. The planting must follow next. The fruits, the yield or the results happen in its time, not our time. Something happens, but it occurs in its time. We want change, we want reconciliation, we want healing, we want results. We may see them or not in our time. We must believe in the power of sowing. We pay forward. We spark a miracle. It may be your five loaves and two fishes, or your grain of wheat, or a little act of kindness. Believe that each of us is a seed of God sowed into a religious, a political, or educational, or social arena. Break into to burst forth. Pope Francis sowed the seed of healing, the healing of the history of the indigenous Canadians, the seeds of making politicians accountable to the voters have begun. A thought for the week. Former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Winston Churchill, once said, I took taxi one day to the BBC office for an interview. When I arrived, I asked the driver to wait for me for 40 minutes until I got back. But the driver apologized and says, I can't, because I have to go home and listen to Winston Churchill's speech. I was amazed and delighted with the man's desire to listen to my speech. So I took out 10 pounds and gave it to the taxi driver without telling him who I was. When the driver collected the money, he said, I'll wait for hours until you come back, sir, and let Churchill go to hell. Something to think about. Eva sang money, money. It is a rich man's world. Money talks. You can see how principles have been modified against money. Nations sold for money. Honor for money. Families split for money. Friends separated for money. People killed for money. And people being made slaves to money. What decides for you? Announcements for this week. One, the Catholic Bishops Conference of Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei begins next week from the 8th to the 12th of August, 2022. The bishops will meet the heads of religious congregations. An important item in the agenda is the consolidation of pre-synod consultations of all the 11 dioceses of the conference. Two, 
Preparations for Seven Sacraments Pilgrim Walk is underway. It is an invitation for all Catholics and all language groups to rediscover and renew their call and mission through a seven-step sacramental journey, a meditative walk to rediscover the God-given graces in the Church. Q and Q, Q ask, what is bias? Are most of us biased? First, what is bias? How does it work? Well, if you ever relied on your own subjective experience rather than objective facts when making a decision, then you've been led by bias. Bias is most common when people are making judgment calls. And it is no secret how commonplace judgment errors are, especially when it comes to business strategy. Second, the key message here is we can't eliminate bias. Bias can't be rooted out entirely. But we can take steps to reduce its effects. Here's the bad news. Bias is hard to banish. Luckily, it doesn't need to be. NASA is full of biased individuals, but it's also established collective processes that counteract those individual biases. Third, so how can we follow NASA's lead and diminish bias in our workplace? Establish collective processes that counteract those individual biases. Reconsider your leadership approach rather than being person who makes the final call aided by gut instinct alone. Be someone who organizes how choices are presented. Become a decision architect instead of a decision maker. Religion lives in the past and in the future. Spirituality lives in the present. A fresh week awaits you. Seize the day, seize the opportunity. When God opens the door, no one can close it. When God closes the door, no one can open it. The Lord waits for us. God bless.